out here in the woods today, taking a journey into the past. You see in this part of Florida, where I'm exploring, it was once a booming town in the early 1900s. It was a sawmill town. There was a large sawmill here. Folks living and working all around these places. It's abandoned today and nature has reclaimed much of the town site. Large industry here, logging industry, and turpentine as well. There's a railroad line that went through town, transporting and exporting goods from the town. It's called Centralia. other communities nearby as well that connected along the railroad line and on today's adventure we explore beyond the town into the woods see what else we discover along the way Take a look at this now. It's not much, but these pieces here, I believe, are from the old smokestacks at the sawmill here in town. It's just remains of what's left of them here on the ground. Following this pathway further into the woods, once a busy road here in town. Peaceful place today. You can sense the past as you roam around these areas. Now you may be asking yourself, what happened to these towns? Why were they abandoned? Well, many of these communities didn't last very long once their resources were used up, companies would move on and these places would be abandoned. And the people would go where the work was. And these towns were based around the industries. And here at this town, there were many old and large cypress trees that were processed. Hundreds and thousands of years old, these trees were. And once they were all logged out of the surrounding forest, Sawmill was abandoned. And turpentine was another industry here in this area. And there were many turpentine camps. And they would tap the pine trees, for sap and resin, for the production of making turpentine. These pine trees were like crops. And once resources for that was used up, the loggers would also cut down the pine trees as well. Now it's interesting, tapping trees for sap and resin, pine trees in fact, goes back to all the way to the 15 to 1600s at least, when the British were using it to waterproof their ships. And so over the centuries that practice formed into so many other ways of making products such as turpentine, which was utilizing these pine trees to get the sap and resin. So there were many uses for that. And turpentine was 
Florida's largest industry in the 1800s and early 1900s here in Florida. Searching for the railroad, leads out of town. I think I see it just up ahead. And during the days of Centralia, there were other communities around this area. One of them was known as Oak Grove. And from what I've learned so far, some of the residents may have lived there. Could have been turpentine operations in the area as well. Many layers of history throughout these places where I'm exploring. Here's the railroad line. See it elevated above the surrounding woods here. So beautiful out here. It opens up. The trains were coming through here long ago. This area would have looked perhaps very different. May have been buildings all along here. These are a lot of new growth pines I'm seeing. So there may have been some old trees along this area as well. After all those years, the railroad line still remained here. Traces from the past. Very interesting as I'm exploring along some of this railroad line. Seeing pieces of coal from when the trains came through here. I saw a railroad spike, even some fragments of hurdy cups. Now, the hurdy cups were used during the turpentine industry, and those were attached to the pine trees to collect the sap and resin, which was used for making the turpentine. So, evidence from that as well. Maybe entering the old community of Oak Grove. Can't say for sure. Nobody's here today. Surrounded by these beautiful trees.
searching for some evidence from this town and back there I did see a brick laying on the ground and just up ahead I'm seeing some foundations and more bricks so definitely some evidence from the past out here just over here a pile of bricks a lot of it's buried there's a foundation there Seeing a lot of bricks out here. Evidence from a structure that once stood in this area. It opens up over there as a clearing in the woods here. Armadillo's here. 